the Harvard Graduate School of Education, working at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. Dear Secretary Duncan, last spring I actually sat right across the aisle from you on a flight to New Orleans while I was headed to the AERA conference. Unfortunately, I didn't introduce myself, nor did I open a conversation about education. So allow me to do so now, because I'm still kicking myself about it. My name is Vanessa Rodriguez, and I'm a doctoral student at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. My studies here have highlighted the efforts by the federal government to support research on understanding more about how students learn. Novel programs like Mind, Brain, and Education have actually made great strides in the learning brain. We know, for example, with strong support that student learning is actually dynamic and context dependent. We have examples, for instance, that learning happens in a more developmental web-like fashion rather than the stepwise ladder approach and that student learning is actually along individual learning pathways. Neuroscience research has actually been quite abundant in the learning brain. It has offered us implications for classroom teaching as well. However, that's only about 50% of the equation for effectively educating. And that other 50% we actually haven't explored yet. We need to study and explore more about the teaching brain, the cognitive, biological, and psychological processes that are occurring in the brain while we teach. Children as early as the age of three begin to teach, and it's not because they're in a classroom or because they have students. Let us support research that further explores the teaching brain so that we can invest more effectively in a comprehensive approach to brain-based education, one that includes both the learning brain and the teaching brain. I encourage you to read more about my work on this topic in an upcoming issue of Mind, Brain, and Education Journal. And the next time I see you on a flight, I'll be sure to say hi.